Ide Mill Road curves alongside the tracks of the Short Line Railroad through St. Paul's Western neighborhoods. The Short Line was built in the 1880s to create a direct link between St. Paul and Minneapolis. It marked the end of an era for this little valley. Where there once were trees and a winding stream flowing down the hillside, there was now railroad tracks. And the growing population of the city was beginning to push in from all sides. Just 20 years earlier, in 1860, this land was practically wilderness. That was the year John Ide built a house and gristmill in what was then called Reserve Township. Ide and his wife, Clementina, had purchased their 160 acres at a U.S. government auction for $1.25 per acre. Today, that land is bordered by Randolph and St. Clair Avenues, Victoria Street, and Lexington Parkway. Nothing is left of the home or mill. Both were casualties of changing times when the land they stood on was wanted for other uses. Powered by water from a mill pond near present-day Randolph and Hamlin Avenues, the mill could grind 22 sacks of corn per day. The first road in Reserve Township was built to serve the nearby farmers who used the mill. By 1864, John Ide had sold the southern portion of his property and divided the rest among his five children. His son Rudolph sold his parcel of land containing the mill pond, the mill, and the house to Charles and Maria Cromeroth. The Cromeroths began investing heavily in improvements to the mill and property. The grounds became a popular resort and fishing spot after the mill pond was stocked with 300 trout. But the mill did not prosper. The land around the mill was frequently soggy due to the many springs that seeped out on the hillside, making the roadway very challenging for the animals and wagons. Charles Cromeroth died in the midst of foreclosure proceedings, and Maria gave up part of the land for the short line right of way. The railroad construction destroyed the pond and the mill stream, but the property was still considered a good spot for a park. In 1883, developers built Ridgewood Lookout with a bandstand and fountains on the hill north of the mill. But just three years later, the land was being subdivided into building lots. At the same time, the St. Paul Board of Park Commissioners began acquiring property in the area to turn it into a park. By 1893, however, the abandoned mill had been demolished and in the midst of an economic depression, the public was not willing to pay for a park. In 1930, Jefferson Avenue was built, cutting through the property right next to the Ide House. It remained standing until 1966 when to make way for Highway 35E, its 18-inch thick stone walls were knocked down. 